So today I'm going to explain how to make a little switching station. What a switching station is, is it's basically a place where if you push this button, you'll go straight. If you don't push the button, you'll go the direction we just saw, you'll go right. And uh, so that was not pushing the button. Now we're going to do the same thing again. Get a little track going. Get a little train boosted here. And so this time around, we're going to hit this button, and we went straight instead. So how did this work? Okay, well, it's pretty simple. There's, a, there's one really super simple circuit, if you can even call it a circuit, where I push the button, and it switches that track. So I'll do it again. Push, you can see it switching. Push, see it switching. And what's the circuit involved? Well, it's just a line of redstone. So this is the redstone wire. I made it so that it goes under the tracks and around and here. You can also uh, hide it by like you can actually have a torch underneath this track piece right here. Um, so you have torch, like you have track, dirt, torch, and then you have this wire go to the torch. But uh, I wanted to show what the, uh, the circuit was actually doing, so I kept it above ground. So anyway, so that's what the button does. And that's really the important thing as far as circuitry goes. Um, what else is happening here is that we've got a booster. So our train came in this way. It has to come in at either an angle or it has to come in down a slope or whatever. Usual booster kind of mechanism. And then so this booster car goes and gets gets boosted itself. So it gets picks up a little momentum uh, just to make sure that it's going to get all the way back. So it boosts, goes around, and comes to our station. It comes to our little switching area and comes around this corner and basically my car is going to be sitting there. I can push the button or not push the button. This car comes by and basically we get sent off that direction or that direction depending if I push the switch or not. So let's, uh, let's take a view from above. Let's just be able to see the whole darn thing from here. So just to let you show, just to let you see it all. So we have this car, it gets boosted. This is just a delay. It's basically saying I've got to waste some time while my car gets into place and I get turned around and I get oriented and I can push the button. This car spends a little bit of time traveling some track. My car goes that way, or if switched, goes that way. The other car just goes all the way back. This little hill doesn't matter at all. Um, but it basically gets back to here. You'll also notice that there's an important north-south orientation thing going on here as far as some of the tracks go. I just don't want you to be frustrated to try this out somewhere and find out, hey, wait, what's, it's not working for me. This is north. This is south. So why is that important? Well, basically it's for here, when a track comes in like this, there's sort of a southwest rule that basically this will hit here and it'll always go west. Similarly, when this track went here, when it hit, it's going to go west. So this southwest rule means that this track will always go over here, and that sort of gives me a little launch starter place. So that's about it. And I just wanted to uh, record it for posterity because it took me a while to figure out, and no reason everyone should have to figure it all out too. So let's just take one more ride and see how it goes. And that's it. Actually, just as bonus footage, what I think I'll do is uh, send this car off without anyone in it, let it get boosted through, and then you can sort of see what's going on elsewise. So you can see this minecart's going around. It's now going to boost that guy out. So he got to there, and he's returned back to his home place. And that's it.